Now, the big news today at the Olympic Games. Two fierce American competitors blazed their way into history with their speed, their strength, and yes, their twizzles. ABC's Matt Gutman is right there. Perhaps no athlete shattered an Olympic record while appearing as joyous as Merrill Davis and Charlie White. It's incredible. I, I can't imagine being up here with anyone else. The Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers of ice dancing becoming the first pair to win gold for the U.S. in the event. Watch the twizzles coming up here. There's the twizzle spinning in unison, holding one of their blades. Timing must be precise. Watch again as Davis and White complete five turns in three seconds. Their skates hitting the ice at the same time with the precision of an atomic clock. And there's a required fast-paced fin step, a precise sequence of 70 steps. They dance as a single body. Look how close their blades are to each other. It's ballroom dancing on ice. We felt like we had that opportunity to be the complete team and just prove to the world that, you know, beyond a doubt that we were the best. On another stretch of ice, more history for the U.S. Steve Holcomb and Steve Langdon bringing home the first American medal in two-man bobsled since 1952, a bronze. The bobsledders push the 400-pound sled, going from zero to 30 miles an hour in five seconds. And then the hard part, getting in. That's a lot of running. Ah, my foot! But on the slopes today, soupy fog forced the cancellation of two events on the mountain where Nick Baumgartner hoped to compete in the snowboard cross. Here I am at the bottom. We are not racing, obviously, because you can't see anything. Weather has been a problem since the start of the games. First, it was the heat, with skiing and snowboarding events postponed, and athletes saying the snow had the consistency of mashed potatoes. And tomorrow, we could see fog again and temperatures into the 60s. Diane. Matt Gutman, good to have you reporting it again from Sochi.